Hi there. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about binary operations. They're often denoted by, say, this symbol here, a star, although you will see on occasions other symbols used. So a binary operation, let's say star, on a set of real numbers is a rule which combines any two real numbers, A and B, say, and gives a real number. Now, you should already be familiar with certain binary operations. Let's say addition. Add two real numbers together, you get back a real number. 4 add 2, 6. The same with subtraction, multiplication and division. So these are common binary operations. This symbol star here is replaced then with plus, minus, times or division. But others can be defined, such as this one, for example. A star B equals 3A minus 2B plus AB. So for instance, let's just give you an example of this. Suppose we had 4 star 1. Then according to this definition here, it's going to be 3 times the first value, so it would be 3 times the 4 here, and then minus 2 times the second value, so it would be 2 times the 1, and then it's plus the product of those two values, so it would be 4 times 1 in this case. Work this out and you end up with 14. So the point I want to make here is that we can define other binary operations. Now as you can see I've got here a couple of examples which I would definitely encourage you to have a go at. I picked these just to highlight further ideas on binary operations. This first one here, you've got to find a particular value A that's defined by this rule here. And I picked this example because it uses a different symbol for a binary operation. And I'm combining two binary operations here. So do have a go at these. I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's just look at this first one here. If A star B or A combined with B equals A squared minus B, find the value of A such that A star 4 equals 5. OK, so using this definition here, we've got A squared minus the 4 must equal the 5. So if we add 4 to both sides, we therefore get a squared equals 9. And if we square root both sides, a must equal plus or minus the square root of 9 being 3. OK, so it said find the values, so we've got two values here. Now in this second example, I picked this because we've got two different binary operations. And what we've got to do is find... 3 combined with 4 under this first binary operation and then with this result combine it with the 5 under this starred operation. So copying down this question here we've got 3 and then we've got that first binary operation and then it's combined with the 5 there under the second binary operation. So what we've got then for this one OK, following the rule that we've got here, twice the first element, 2 times the 3, plus the second value there. So it's going to be 2, let's put that in square brackets, 2 times 3 plus the 4, and then with this we put star 5. OK, so what we've got here is 2 3 is a 6, plus 4 is 10, so you've got 10 starred with the 5. Now we come on to this rule here for this binary operation. So it's the first value, 10 in this case, minus twice the second value, 2 times the 5 there. So we've got 10, take away 10, and that's going to be equal to 0. OK, well I hope that's given you some idea then how we work with binary operations. 
Now in the next video in this series, I'll be looking at extending this work on binary operations to cover an idea called closure. So hopefully you'll take a look at that video.